This woman has no idea what kind of first impression she makes. She's about to find out. In style by jury. The show has begun, and this room has a secret. Hi. Hi. Hi, Patricia. Wow. Is that, is that a girl or a boy? I can't really tell. That's a whole lot of leather for one oh, lady. A biker chick. Very manly, very tough. She looks like she could beat someone up. I think it looks like she cuts her own bangs. Her hair is very mullet-like. It's very masculine. Her face is actually feminine. If you look at it by itself, it's mm -hmm. everything else that doesn't go. Okay, Patricia, what do you say? You ready for this? I'm ready. So, Francesca, what's the plan here for Patricia? We're going to take care of this color. We're going to take care of this haircut, get rid of some of these ends. And I have somebody who is incredible who's going to take care of this top for us. Okay. With? Extensions? Extensions. All right, look at that. A smile, too. Are you okay with that, extensions? I'm okay with it. So before we can get Patricia started with the extensions, we have to color her hair first. We went with a lighter blonde, a medium blonde, and a darker blonde, which Margaret was easily able to match. For Patricia's hair, I added about 150 to 200 hair extensions, and I put a special hair extension up on the top of her head, which is there to remove the bangs as much as possible so we could get rid of the mullet look. With Patricia's haircut, we wanted to achieve some nice softness, so we cut some soft layers around the face. And with the curls, we used a big barrel curling iron, and we did vertical curls, just to give her that nice, sexy, soft, loose curl. Well, welcome to your new hair. What do you think? When I saw the finished hair, I was just amazed. I didn't expect what I saw. I was shocked, overwhelmed. It's definitely long and flowing. Yeah. Definitely not what I'm used to. But you know what? It's long. I can work with it. I can put it up. I can do lots of things with it. So it's definitely more feminine, this hairdo. Patricia is standing by and ready to face the jury for the final time. Jury, take your seats. Then the jury made their comments as her daughter listened on. Oh my gosh, absolutely stunning. I like her beautiful blonde hair, it's so nice. She has a very powerful look to her. Very strong presence. Very confident. I could see her on a cover of a magazine. Patricia, there you go, the jury has spoken. How do you feel? Great, confident, happy, I'm ready. I hold my head up high, I smile, I laugh. I feel I can conquer the world. When Patricia came in seven days ago, the jury thought she looked masculine and tough. We traded the leather for lace and put her into some sexy yet comfortable clothes. Her unflattering mullet gave way to luxurious golden extensions. And here she is. Come on in. Come on right up here. What's the biggest change you've seen her? Her hair. The biggest change. She's glowing. Yeah. What do you have to say to your mom now that you have her right here in front of you? That I love her and she's beautiful. Oh. That's my girl. <laughs> That's your girl. That was really nice. Jury, you're dismissed. Michelle Chan thinks she's here to audition for a makeover show. What we haven't told her is that she's already been chosen. The show has begun, and we have a secret. Whoa. She looks like a rooster hippie. Her hair looks like a skunk. She looks like Rod Stewart's lost sister. Michelle, describe to me your personal style. Michelle. <laughs> this is, you have your own style. I definitely do. I like to play with fashion. The outfit's so busy, I don't know where to settle my eyes. Ta -da. She looks like a teenager who's just trying to rebel against everyone and look different. I'm not sure that Doc Martens are appropriate for someone her age. Ready for a new haircut? I, yeah, okay, yeah. Let's yeah. Michelle is finally convinced a makeover will help her career, but changing her hairstyle won't be stress-free. Francesco Michelle obviously has an interesting look, but she's also a real estate agent. Maybe as a real estate agent, we're a little over the top, so we're gonna tone you down a bit. Mm -hmm. And I have the perfect solution. What's that? Full extensions. I'm nervous because extensions sound good, but it's a whole new look, and one I don't have a clue is gonna look like in the end. Prior to doing the extensions on Michelle, we had to even out her color so that this way Margaret would have a nice even palette to work with. The hair extensions that we put in Michelle are called extension locks. They're put in with a little copper coated shell. It's a strand by strand method. It's 100% human hair. We try to blend it as much as possible in with her hair. This way it becomes part of her new look. The actual plan for Michelle's haircut was to bring it up to about shoulder length, give her a nice choppy bob, really accentuate those highlights that she had in it, and give it a lot of texture to keep her very, very sexy. I'm afraid to look. Oh, you can look. You'll like okay. it. Okay. Oh, my God. 
odd. When I finally had the nerve to look in the mirror and see the final result, check me out. I was really happy because he, he really made it look funky and cool, which is what I wanted. I'm going to have a lot of different options, looking professional or just looking fun. In moments, Michelle will enter this room and face the jury for the final time. She thinks it's the jury from last week, but guess what? Not a chance. We've brought in a brand new jury today, and they have no idea that Michelle's had a makeover. Oh, she really oh, lights up her room. Look at her uh, smile. Like the highlights in the hair. Her haircut is uh, straight and funky and young looking. She looks like she's in show business. She seems very outgoing. She would just get all the attention in the room. I think she looks really artsy, and she could probably be a, an interior designer. And she looks like a lot of fun. It's like she's got everything that she wants, and she's on top of the world. Jell came in seven days ago. The jury thought she looked like a joke rather than a real estate agent. We kept her edge, but toned down her image so that she would be taken seriously. Porcelain veneers transformed her smile. She lost years off her face with Botox and Perlane filler. It was goodbye spiky hair and hello great extensions. Now this artsy real estate agent will not only get the hot properties, she is a hot property.